Hello again, I am Scott with Sovereign Studios and as the second part of our scale form tutorial I'm going to run you through Adobe Flash and show you how to create um, the HUD that we'll use in UDK. So go ahead and start a new project. It's going to be ActionScript 2.0 is what you're looking for. So go ahead and click on that. Uh, first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change your background color. I would uh, advise using something dark. Uh, go ahead and change the size. Um, I found that in uh, for user interface and HUDs, uh, you're going to want to use the resolution of your game as it's going to play it basically in full size. Um, I found for my particular project, uh, 2140 by 1200 works pretty well. Um, so it's going to play the whole over movie overlay uh, over your game. Um, <clears throat> so now that you got a pretty pretty large background, um, you're going to want to start building your HUD. Now I've already gone ahead and made um, some images um, in Photoshop for this exact purpose so that it would look a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and import to my library uh, the image that I've already made. I've got it right over here, which is a UI Life Border. It's this little thing right here. Um, Great. Right. So go ahead and drag uh, drag the symbol over to wherever you want it. In my case, I'm going to want it in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Um, that way it'll be in the bottom left when I have it appear in Unreal. Uh, now that it's on your stage, go ahead and right-click it. Um, you're going to want to convert it to a symbol. In this case, you're going to use... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call mine base uh, underscore MC, and I'm gonna go ahead and export it for Action Script. Now I'm not sure that this is necessary, um, but it sounded good, so I clicked it, and then yeah, okay. So hit OK, uh, and then jump, and that'll convert it to a symbol. You'll see you'll get a new symbol uh, in your library. Go ahead and jump over to Properties, and you'll be able to name your instance. Okay, in this case base underscore MC is what I'm looking for and the reason I'm naming it that is because in my Unreal script file you'll see that I've referenced it here uh, in this init init to function of, uh, of the GFX HUD so you'll see you know underscore root dot base underscore MC so base underscore MC is the name of this instance that it's going to to want to draw as the main HUD um, just to get a variable to make sure it exists all right. So now that you've got that set up, um, go ahead and right-click it and then hit Edit. Okay. Layer one is just your base, so go ahead and rename it if you want to. It's really not important. Um, now that you have it, go ahead and lock it and then right-click it and insert a new layer. All right. Now, now on your second layer. Um, Basically, what we're going to do is, is, you know, we have our background as our first layer, and then we're going to create a new layer uh, for every every object that that will appear on the HUD. And in in this case, it'll be an HP bar, an MP bar, and then percentages for both. So we'll end up with an extra four frames. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and draw a real real quick bar. Uh, in which case, you want to come over here to the rectangle tool. Uh, go ahead and pick a color. Uh, I liked this one right here. It's just a you know, basic quick thing. Um, yeah. So when, once you've got that, just uh, go ahead and make make your rectangle. Draw the bar. Reselect your pointer. <coughs> and, and highlight the object. Once the object is highlighted, right-click it and convert it to a symbol. In this case, I'll just name it HP bar. Again, export for action script. Hit OK. Up in the properties, it'll be HP bar for your instance. Hit enter, make sure you're good to go. And then go ahead and lock that layer. HP bar is the name of that layer. Okay, we're going to insert another layer. 
This will be your MP bar. And we'll pretty much do the same thing, only this time we'll end up with a blue color to draw out the MP bar. And they don't have to be perfect. I'm not really going for perfect for this tutorial, so just make a bar and you're good to go. Um, same kind of thing. Hit the pointer, select the thing, uh, convert it to a symbol. In this case, MP bar. Export for action script. Your instance name, of course, MP. MP bar. Enter. And lock the layer. Alright. Insert your fourth layer. And now we're going to do um, the text. And what I mean by text, it'll, you know, you'll see on a common Unreal HUD, uh, we'll usually give you a percentage um, of your health, rounded off to the to the next largest number. Uh, in that case, we're going to select our text tool. You're going to want to ensure that you're on dynamic text, okay, so that it can be updated via action script uh, later. So go ahead and make sure that. Uh, choose your font. Um, it doesn't really matter but it um, what font you choose but when you choose a font make sure that you've embedded all characters um, so that way it can be updated through action script uh, in the future um, that's, I think that's all you really need to worry about right here so go ahead and hit OK and um, I don't know, select your color in this case I'm going to use that one there and fill in your text field. Uh, you can just put any any value here that you want to. Um, I'm just going to go with 100%. Um, I am not entirely convinced um, that you would have to to fill in all the you know as, as many characters as you as you need in that field. So for example, if you had a hundred thousand percent. You know, you'd need six characters or seven for the the percentage sign um, to actually appear on the screen. Uh, otherwise, I'm pretty certain that you'll just end up with however many characters you've typed as your as your base. Um, so go ahead and once you have all that, make sure that up in the properties you've renamed your instance variable. In the, in our case, it's health underscore txt. Hit enter. You're good to go. Um, go ahead and lock that layer, and then you'll do the same thing again um, for the MP. So insert a layer, in this case magic underscore txt. Text. You know, we already have all of our stuff set up from the last time. Ensure the embed just to be on the safe side. Um, and go ahead and click it in there. 100%. All right. We're going to move it back down in line. All right, and then you're pretty much good to go. Um, so go ahead and lock that layer. Exit back out to your scene. Um, on your scene you should go ahead and insert another layer um, we're just going to call this one actions okay and um, then you're going to do some action script now I have already created a HUD obviously for one of our previous tutorials so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this action script from here um, To use in our new project. So, as you see, it's you go to actions, open your action action script, and copy all this stuff in here. Um, so you'll have your you're importing a couple things here: this GFX motion tween and the external interface. Um, here you can change the angle of it if you like. If you want to, you can set this Y rotation to a different number to change the uh, Y rotation of the image itself or of the movie I should say um, and you'll come down here and this stuff right here 
um, these signed signed equations um, these are what's going to give us the the kind of like bob effect inside the HUD alright so um, once you're done there go ahead and, and save everything uh, I'm just going to call mine tutorial .fla. I already have one in there I'm just going to replace um, now that you're all done you're going to want to go to the scale form launcher uh, assuming that you have it installed already it'll be under windows other panels and scale form launcher um, and then all you have to do is hit test and it should come up with a much larger video so you'll see this this thing kind of hovering right there and that being said you're good to go um, go ahead and export it uh, export your movie as your SWF. It usually saves it anyway, but you know, just do it. Who cares? And we'll see you for the next part of the tutorial.